doing today uh, we're having a look at the old Manchester Bolton and Bury Canal um, I became interested in this in 1984 when I did a walk with the crawler Oil Valley Warden service uh, 12 months later in 1985 uh, my mum and dad bought a house in Little Lever so I started exploring this old derelict canal I felt really sorry for it because bits were dry bits were filled in it were completely derelict so I tried to join a canal society but there were none so we ended up starting one uh, so in July 1987 um, I founded the Manchester Bolton and Bury Canal Society, which is still going today. This is a, a wonderful shot of the river lock. So what you've got there is lock one, uh, just beyond the lock gates, you had the bloody bridge. And beyond that, you can just make out the reflection, was the river oh well. This site is sort of Granada Studios and you had Princess Bridge so th that, that's quite a unique shot now uh, you can just make out obviously where access you could get from Bloody Bridge to the towpath you know a wonderful old shot Wouldn't it be nice to be doing that? Right, we're now stood on Princess Bridge. If you'd like to follow me, I can show you a rather nice bridge plate. As it says, it was reopened to traffic in August 1905. Uh, this bridge crosses the river very well. And I'm hoping that when we get to the middle of it, we'll get a good vantage point of canal. So, this way. John, if we look to our left, you can actually see the inlet of the Manchester Bolton Bay Canal. If you look carefully, you can see the stone banks suddenly curve, and that was literally the start of the canal. And like I said, you go under Bloody Bridge, and then you float into your first lock, which was a combined staircase pair. Once you went up that staircase pair, you literally went straight under, straight underneath that bridge there, up to East Lane. Well, it's hard to think, but below our feet, is the tunnel, the new tunnel constructed to take the Manchester Bolton and Bury Canal from the River Railway underneath this busy inner relief road to emerge beneath that railway bank up there. Amazing. Yeah, this is real exploring along the canal. We know these old trackways. You can see the start of the river lock. That beautiful stonework. As far as I know, in Victorian times, there was a murder on the bridge. Uh, someone was obviously killed and the blood went everywhere, so they call it the Bloody Bridge. Look at the quality of that masonry, absolutely superb. Superb that masonry over there. Got such a lovely curve on it. And this is the entrance, as you can see. You can just about see the other side of the Bloody Bridge. Well, this is the actual entrance, lot one of the Manchester Bolton Bay Canal where the canal used to leave its course and end up in the River Airwell. Now that bit there, that's not part of the bridge, is it? No, no. unfortunately when all the canal was filled in from this point in 1968, um, they would have just put this concrete boon across, you know, just to return the F, because obviously originally boats could sail straight through here, you know, into the staircase lock and underneath the railway viaduct. So let's get this right, there was a lock here, there was a staircase lock going up. Yeah, you, you, you're literally floating from the river in a boat, underneath Bloody Bridge and you float straight into a lock. So you float in, shut your gates, then you, obviously the water level will bring your boat up, and then a staircase lock, then you'd open the upper gates, float into that one. 
and then float up again. So here on this site, we would have had two locks. We're back on the Princess Bridge, and here's the river well. And this is all what remains of that bloody bridge where that Victorian murder occurred many years ago. When they filled the canal in in 1968, obviously the canal being a canal, it had been here a few hundred years, water used to run into it. So they had a problem, you can't just fill a canal in because all the land around it floods. So what they did, they put this pipe uh, straight through the locks. So any excess water got drained into the original canal, bearing in mind canals aligned with Clare, would float out into the river. But what a sad end to a magnificent canal. All 15 miles, one furlong of it. What linked Salford to Bolton to Bury. As we speak, uh, the canal is being restored and hopefully in a few short months, uh, I think it's planned this section will be open next year. So next year you can get a boat through here, which seems impossible at the moment, and you'll be able to tie up uh, just below Oldfield Road. So watch this space. TV, Anna. <laughs> Have you noticed? You, oh. you never get any shots of that image, buddy. So, <laughs> get it on there. Yeah. What's this called? The Manchester Bolton and Bury Canal. Are you videoing? Yeah. The Manchester Bolton and Bury Canal. It's amazing. It's vast. Look what they're doing to it. Just look at the size of this rock. Absolutely amazing. Amazing. 